Hello and welcome to Sports Clipmaker. The Sports Clipmaker app is now available on Windows 10 and can be purchased and downloaded from the Windows 10 store on your Windows 10 computer. Now let's get started. Before opening Sports Clipmaker, it is important to move your match footage to the correct place. Sports Clipmaker works by reading the MP4 video files in the Videos folder of your Windows 10 computer, so it is important to ensure that all footage is properly placed in the Videos folder. Once you have opened the Videos folder, create a new folder and name the folder appropriately. The name of the opposition, the round, the date of the match or the date of the training session are all appropriate names that could be used. In this instance, the buffs are the opposition, the match was played in round 9, and the match was played during the 2015-16 season. Once this folder has been created, locate your original match or training footage. After locating your original match or training footage, either cut and paste or copy and paste the files into your newly created folder. Again, the naming of these files is also important, so make sure you name each file appropriately. In this instance, Q1 signifies the first quarter, Q2 the second, Q3 the third, and Q4 the fourth. You can change the name of each video by right-clicking on the video and selecting Rename. Now that your video files are in place, it's time to open the Sports Clipmaker application. You can locate the Sports Clipmaker app by using the Start menu in the bottom left-hand corner of your Windows 10 computer. Once the application has been opened, enter your email address and school or club name. Next, select a player and action lead and lag time. This indicates the time in seconds before and after an event you wish to code. Additionally, adjust the colour of both your player and action buttons. You can also opt to use transparent buttons, allowing you to see through the buttons when viewing your footage. After saving your details, click New Game on the right-hand side of your screen and adjust the date and opposition name accordingly. After clicking Create New Game, a new window will appear. Locate your previously saved footage by finding and clicking on the Videos folder. Select the Match folder you wish to code and then select the Match footage. To select multiple clips from your folder, Hold down the control button on your keyboard while selecting the video footage you wish to use. Now it's time to enter your players and actions. Players and actions can be added while Sports Clipmaker is in the setup mode. To enter a player, simply click on the screen and begin typing the player's name. Sports Clipmaker is also touchscreen compatible, meaning you can touch your screen at any time when the mouse would ordinarily have been used. It is important to also type your player's number, as this number differentiates players from actions. Once you have typed the player's name and number, click Enter to create the new button. As previously selected, the buttons are transparent, allowing you to see through them when coding your match. To add an action, Repeat the same process, however, without using a number. You can move your buttons around by simply dragging and dropping them anywhere on the screen. Once you have added all your players and actions, you can adjust the player and action lead and lag time and the colour of your buttons by navigating your way to the settings menu. As you can see, the lead and lag time for both players and actions is currently set to 5 seconds before and 5 seconds after an instance being coded. As indicated at the bottom of the screen, Sports Clipmaker is still currently in setup mode. Sports Clipmaker has three different modes, the setup mode, the code mode and the review mode. You can change modes by clicking the Mode button in the bottom right corner or by using some keyboard shortcuts. 
To change to code mode, press C on your keyboard. To change to setup mode, press S on your keyboard. Or to change to review mode, press R on your keyboard. Once in code mode, it's now time to begin coding your game. Press the space bar or click on the screen to commence coding. Click on the button as the player or action enters the screen. You will notice that when you click on a button, Sports Clip Maker will begin recording each individual player instance or action. Once completed, each player and action code will appear on the right hand side of your screen. As you can see, each clip goes for 10 seconds, 5 seconds before and 5 seconds after selecting the player or action button. When there is a break in play, you may wish to fast forward your footage and you can do so by dragging the mouse across the screen from left to right until you reach the next point in play. Sports Clip Maker also allows you to code each match using a voice recognition system. We recommend that when using voice recognition, you wear USB headphones. To activate voice recognition, select the microphone icon in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. The icon will then turn red indicating that voice recognition has been activated. Click on the screen or press the space bar to recommence footage. Now that voice recognition has been activated, you can begin coding by saying a player's name or action as they appear. Centre bounce. Jack Williams, Mick Nolan, Mitch Price, Justin Wilson, Shan Rioli. The voice recognition system provides you with a fast and efficient way to code your matches. If you wish to hide your buttons or clips, you can do so by right clicking on the screen and selecting hide buttons or hide clips. To make them reappear, repeat the process, this time clicking show buttons or show clips. You can play or pause at any time by simply clicking on the screen or pressing the spacebar key on your keyboard. When coding your match, there are a number of useful features you can use to make your review even more effective. After clicking on a code from the right hand clip list, you can like, dislike or flag that particular clip. As well as these features, you can also record a voiceover by clicking on the record a voiceover icon on the bottom menu. Click on the icon to start and stop recording. While recording, the icon will turn red in colour. When you have finished recording your voiceover, you can listen back to it by selecting the clip and pressing P for play on your keyboard. You can also record a match review voiceover that is not associated with any particular player or action clip. To do this, ensure that no player or action clip is highlighted and then click the record voiceover icon to begin recording. When you have finished talking, click the icon again to end the recording. A match review clip will then appear on the right hand side clip list. If you would like to test your voice recognition system, you can do so by pausing your match and saying a player's name or action. Darren Ewing, Jack Long, Jack Geary, Raf Clark, Mick Nolan, Anthony Long, each player or action that you say will then appear along the bottom of your screen. In the unlikely event that the voice recognition system is not recognising a certain player or action, you may wish to change the button to a suitable alternative, such as a nickname. To do this, click through to setup mode by clicking the current mode button until you reach setup mode or by pressing S on your keyboard. Once in setup mode, Right click on the player or action button and select rename. When you have finished coding your match, move into review mode by clicking the current mode button or by pressing R on your keyboard. 
Like in code mode, in review mode, you can like, dislike or flag any particular clip. As well as this, you can also review a player or actions clips by clicking on their button on the left hand side of your screen. When you click the button, each clip that has been coded to that button will appear on the right hand side clip list. Once you have completed your review, you can begin to process clips. When you click the Process Clips button, Sports Clip Maker will individually create an MP4 video file for each player, action and match review. So if you have 21 players, two actions and match review footage, Sports Clip Maker will create 24 MP4 video files. You can also join together various clips by using the Create Mashup button. Once you have created and named your mashup list, simply drag and drop the clips you would like to join together into the list space. From there, click the Process Clips button and Sports Clip Maker will then begin creating your mashup. Once the mashup clip has been processed, the clip will automatically be saved in the match folder within the videos folder as an MP4 video file. If you would like to process the clips from a single player or action, click on their button and then click the Process Clips button. Once again, once their clips have been processed, the MP4 file will be saved in the Match folder within the Video folder. When processing your clips, Sports Clip Maker also allows you to adjust the size of the video it produces. After navigating to the Settings menu and clicking the Video Processing drop-down box, by selecting VGA or QVGA, you can compress the size of the video, making it great for uploading to Facebook, YouTube or other cloud services. When Original is selected, your videos will be processed at their original size and quality. And that's how simple and easy it is to use Sports Clip Maker.